Hello YouTube. Today we're going to talk about an antenna setup that I'm playing with. The antenna that I'm using uh, out here today is uh, made by a company, by, by a group of amateurs called uh, QRP Guys, and they have a, a website called qrpguys.com, and uh, basically uh, they sell little antenna setups for uh, QRP and uh, summits on the air type installations, and um, but I've got it set up. Um, it's a 17 inch uh, wire on a uh, squid pole that I have. The squid pole is uh, 33 feet roughly. Um, it's got a little circuit board on the bottom that's uh, right here, coax leading into it. And it's got four radial wires at 10 foot each. It's basically 10 foot radials, 17 foot radiator. And uh, it does uh, 30 meter. 20 meter and 40 meter and you can switch back uh, the wire is best resonant on 20 meters but um, when you switch it to the different coils it, it does 30 and 40 quite well um, band conditions have been a little poor um, so testing antennas is always a bit of a, a, a chore and that's part of the reason why we're out here with this today because we plan on doing a, a, a soda uh, activation this summer in New Mexico. Anyways, uh, we can uh, get down and get close to show you the front of the board. Okay, basically what you have is two uh, toroids here that are uh, that can be switched in and out of place. Right here's where your, your radiator ties in. You've got your uh, you know your radials right here where is your radiators right here and uh, I have four of them going off in each direction 10 feet which is what they recommended it's wire tied to the uh, squid pole and basically right now I have it set to 30 meters because I'm doing some experiments with uh, getting uh, a HF APRS and uh, a few other little things possibly PSK mail and you know some other stuff but uh, if you want to put it in uh, 20 meter mode, you basically would bring this one all the way up because it says 30, 20, and this one you'd bring up and that would put it in 20 meter mode. If you want it in 40 meter mode, you go down that one and you bring that one down and now it's in 40 meter mode. There's 30. So it's pretty simple and that's all you have to do to change the bands nice thing about this is that you don't need an antenna tuner um, which is always uh, a plus when you're doing things in remote locations because it's less gear to lug around also the wire gauge that I'm using on this is extremely thin this is a uh, I believe a 26 gauge wire and uh, it's perfect for this now this is rated by them at 10 watts, but I've been doing 20 on it with no problem. Uh, I wouldn't use more than that. Might get away with 25 watts, but uh, I, w I probably wouldn't try it. Your, your main uh, issue is going to be your coil here. Um, and uh, 
possibly the switches might be rated, not quite rated, but you might get some arcing or something if you do more the power than that. Um, but for uh, the uh, battery modes that my radio supports when uh, when the brown wire is shorter, because I use an eight, uh, Yaesu uh, 857 that has the uh, brown wire on the back that you can short, and I have a little battery strap to it. I can run it at 20 watt limit, and uh, this antenna is perfect for that. And I mainly operate on 20 and 40 meter band for voice and 30 meter for uh, digital mode stuff. So this is a good, nice antenna for that purpose. It's a compromised antenna because, you know, for these bands, perfect situation would be not to use these base loaded coils and actually have a wire the proper length or use a dipole setup. But, uh, you know, this is, this is pretty good for purposes that I plan on using it for. I can put this up expediently and in a hurry because when you're up on top of a mountain operating, which uh, soda is all about, you don't have a lot of time due to weather and conditions. Uh, also, you want, uh, you have to carry it all up there. So, you know, lightness is good. But anyway, um, if you like what you see, you know, let us know if you got any questions leave them in the comments below um, also uh, soon we plan on doing it, starting to do uh, Q&A videos um, so if you have any questions you want to ask us um, put them in the uh, comments below and uh, maybe we can start some uh, doing some Q&A videos those will probably be done live from uh, my uh, house uh, not out in the woods because uh, you know we don't go out en uh, enough to justify doing all Q and A's out in the woods um, so we can do them more regularly probably about once a week um, so I'll be doing from the front yard of a uh, picnic table that we have at the house anyway that's it and uh, I'll see you soon Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. Please also consider supporting us on uh, Patreon so that we can continue to make more of these videos. And you can also join us on our Discord server. The links will be in the description below.